what ties a powerful ancient Egyptian elder god to an archaeological anomaly discovered in Arak in 1919 and the tragic passing of two young children in Mexico 2021. A 7,000 year old conspiracy that might be as misunderstood as it is complex. A legacy born from an ancient mystery school called the Brotherhood of the Snake. How dangerous is this organization? Do they even exist and what threat do they present to the future of mankind? It is a commonly accepted view in mainstream archaeology that civilization started in ancient Mesopotamia. The sophisticated ancient origins of this area has led to the speculation for why this part of the world was potentially thousands of years more advanced than the rest of humanity. Fringe theorists like Michael Sala from the Exopolitics Organization theorized that Iran, Iraq and Afghanistan are located in and around a vast geographical anomaly that spans hundreds of miles covering much of the northern part of the Gulf and parts of South Asia. This anomaly manifests as an invisible energy portal that not only attracts global political powers to the area, wishing to seize control of it, but also extraterrestrials and possibly interdimensional threats as well. Although this is obviously a very fringe perspective, an official government source, namely Cousin Finjon Al Hamomi, Iraq's Minister of Transport at that time, pretty much confirmed the anomalous nature of the area by proudly stating in a 2016 press conference that he believes that his country in particular served as an ancient Sumerian spaceport, allowing travel to the outer edges of our solar system. Although he references the work of the famed yet problematic Zakaria Stitchin as a source, he implies that it was ancient humans and not extraterrestrials who were responsible for the region's early technological advancement. Although some quarters of the regional media ridiculed Fenjan for his statements, it cannot be denied that Iraq and the neighboring country of Iran remains home to some of the greatest archaeological mysteries on the planet. For example, in 1919, the archaeologist Harry Reginald Hall made the unusual discovery in Tel al obeid Iraq, when he unearthed several 7,000-year-old Obeidian artifacts, which appeared to represent humanoid figures with reptilian features. Most of these figurines appeared to be wearing a helmet and have some kind of padding on their shoulders. According to archaeologists, even though these statues were not likely to be ritualistic in nature, they still appear to have been important to the Ubaidian people. As with many ancient cultures, the serpent was a major symbol used to represent a number of gods, most notably the Sumerian god Enki, and later as the symbol for the Brotherhood of the Snake, a supposed ancient secret society that in the modern times has been linked to a wide variety of myths and theories, including extraterrestrials controlling human affairs. In the 21st century, the Brotherhood of the Snake is allegedly a group of wealthy and powerful individuals, and is so ancient all other powerful secret organizations that have existed, currently exist, and are to come into existence, would be able to trace their origins to this Brotherhood. The Ubaidian culture dates back to between 4000 and 5500 BC. As with the Sumerians, the origins of the Ubaidian people is unknown. Tel al obeid itself is literally a short hour drive away from Zikar. The location, the former minister of transport, Kazem Finjon says the ancient Sumerians used as a jump of point to travel to other planets. This connects to the Ubaidian discovery via a popular hypothesis that states that the figurines discovered there are one of the few representations of the original Brotherhood founders, or entities connected to the Brotherhood, 
and that these entities are not from this earth, hence their serpent-like appearance. Numerous ancient cultures throughout the world worship the serpent. In the Gnostic text called the origin of the world, that was originally found in the Nal Hamedi library in Egypt in 1945, an alternative to the creation story detailed in the Bible is presented, where a powerful serpent-type angels were created at the beginning of time. According to the author Philip Gardner, our planet has a history far darker than we can possibly imagine, and that there was a global religion that worshipped a type of snake god. Evidence of this ancient religion can be found in the ancient deities of Suakwatsiti and Suakwatil from Mexico and Peru to India's Naga King children. Closer to home, we have Wajet, the snake goddess of Egypt, who was one of the earliest Egyptian deities. According to mythology, she often appeared in the form of a cobra. She was first worshipped in the pre-dynastic period as the goddess of Lower Egypt, and then eventually the entire civilization, where she became the protector of all the kings of Egypt. Writing for Medium.com, Nedulku Alina states that the Brotherhood of the Snake ruled the country as puppet rulers, while wielding real power behind the scenes. They used this power to advance and build the Egyptian empire into a warrior nation with a powerful military that aggressively conquered distant lands. At this time, they went under the name of Shemsuhur, or followers of Horus, where at this time, according to Alina, they were semi-divine kings, powerful anomalous beings who had the goal of helping humanity reach its fullest potential. However, something went terribly wrong as they soon shifted their goals from helping humanity to enslaving it. What caused this shift is unclear, and many theories have been offered that are consistent with the idea that these ancient beings had an internal conflict, causing them to turn against humans. These theories vary depending on the belief system one subscribes to. For some Judeo-Christian groups, these powerful beings may have once been biblical angels, who were charged with protecting humans, but were then banished from heaven, becoming demonic in the process. For others, this brotherhood were ancient gods, who, consistent with Greek, Roman, and Egyptian mythology, had human-type temperaments, so were subject to the same emotional thought processes as us, leading to disagreements amongst themselves concerning the future of humanity and how it should evolve. And of course, there is the theory that the Brotherhood were alien in origin, and that disagreement amongst themselves was expressed via a type of cosmic civil war that was partly raged on Earth. Although all these theories can be viewed as a variation of the same tale told through three different lenses, the extraterrestrial version appears to have mainly been popularized in William Bramley's 1989 book, The Gods of Eden. He believes this ancient brotherhood is formed of aliens who have been on Earth since the dawn of civilization, experimenting and treating humans as little more than livestock. These experimentations were responsible for creating different chimera that fuses human and alien DNA. Over the decades, this theory has evolved into a hypothesis that states that people with Rh negative blood types could be part alien or part reptile in origin. Most individuals who have the Rh blood type are Rh positive. However, those with Rh negative are prone to suffer from various health problems. Some fringe theorists have drawn a link that suggests that Rh negative blood must be of a non human origin. These theories range from the supernatural to the pseudo scientific, with some saying that this blood type exists due to an interbreeding with extraterrestrials and creating human reptile chimeras. 
However, the majority of scientists who have studied the blood type have concluded that it is most likely a random mutation, taking us to an unfortunate and incredibly tragic incident in 2021. In September 2021, a young father called Matthew Coleman was charged in connection with the deaths of his two-year-old son and ten-month-old daughter. Authorities said that he confessed to the FBI that he used a spear phishing pad to snug. A criminal complaint alleges that he told the FBI that he believed that they were going to grow into monsters and that his wife had passed down her serpent DNA to their children. The prevailing theory regarding the Brotherhood that Coleman seems to allude to concerns a conspiracy that their alien-human hybrids would continue to proliferate as part of a planned takeover of the Earth. According to theorists, this plan is currently being executed over a period of thousands of years and is done by both infiltrating other secret societies and mystery schools as well as mainstream industries. From a strictly modern Middle Eastern perspective, this concept of a reptilian race hiding in plain sight would likely be considered as absurd by both theologians and mainstream scholars. However, this does not mean that such an anomalous species could not theoretically exist within the faith. For example, according to the Sufi scholar Sheikh Nurjan Amir Ahmadi, these beings are a class of jinn, but they do not exist in our reality as independent spiritual entities, but via the jinn position of humans. These humans are usually in positions of power, and it is from that position they can craft whatever story about their origins and goals, be it natural or supernatural. However, there are multiple fringe perspectives that clashes with each other concerning the Brotherhood's agenda, one of which questions if the society was ever evil to begin with and if it could still be benevolent today. For example, the Ancient Astronauts Archive YouTube channel examines this perspective in considerable detail concluding that the snake and serpent iconography only became perceived as evil due to the prevailing influence of the Abrahamic faiths on both the Eastern and Western worlds over the past several hundred years. Prior to that, for tens of thousands of years, reptilian creatures were perceived somewhat differently, viewed with honor. While some may say that in the modern age, this fact is irrelevant, Due to what the serpent has now come to represent, we should note that even in the 21st century, there are still ancient religious groups that run parallel to the Abrahamic faith itself, that hold the serpent in high regard. Within the Middle Eastern Yazidi theology, for example, the snake is not considered as necessarily evil. Although many of the Yazidi people in the region have become Arabized, and have religious practices that are adjacent to Islam and Judaism. Due to being primarily based in the Levant and Iraq, Yazidism considers the snake as a holy creature. According to Peter Nicholas, in his paper The Serpent Symbolism in the Yazidi religious tradition, the snake is not considered as a purely evil symbol, even when filtered through the different Abrahamic traditions. Although, as with Christianity, there is also a negative perception of snakes in Islam due to their venomous nature and the deceitful role it played in the Garden of Eden. Scholars say that to consider this animal as fundamentally evil is wrong. Its natural ability to cause harm should be considered in a manner similar to that of a lion or a tiger. Just because a bite can kill, that in itself does not make it evil. For the sake of further objectivity, we cannot end this episode without pointing out key counter-arguments concerning the very existence of the Brotherhood itself. Skeptics have been quick to know that there is no solid evidence that they existed as part of an ancient global religion, 
the fact that ancient cultures around the world all worshipped snake deities may just be a reflection of the human psyche and how we are fascinated with the reptilian species to the point of worshipping it. Although other secretive and powerful mystery schools that are hundreds and thousands of years old have been confirmed to exist, historians can chart most of their origins back to the medieval period and earlier. From here, some of these societies can even be traced back to the Roman Empire and from there to ancient Persia. However, since the Brotherhood allegedly predates all ancient societies, skeptics say to go back further than this requires a generous amount of speculation. So in conclusion, does or did this Brotherhood ever exist? Is it extraterrestrial or not? Is it evil or not? This topic is way bigger and more complex than we can fit into one video. And so far we have barely scratched the surface, but for further context, check our earlier episode on the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. One thing we do know for sure is that mystery schools can span thousands of years, as we have shown in our earlier episodes regarding a vast all-encompassing threat concerning Mithraism and the occult origins of the real Assassin's Creed. And this could be the case with the Brotherhood of the Snake, if indeed they exist. But what do you think? My name is Kayvon, comment down below, like, subscribe and let's discuss. Also don't forget to come across to my personal channel and check out my content there. A link can be found in the description box below.